Good day, dear friends. Our favorite segment about the greatest knockouts in the history of boxing is once again delighting fans of beautiful boxing. As Foreman said before, you can take no one for granted. And there goes Lacusta down for the second. Canvas, 23 pound weight oh, advantage. My goodness. And he put it's it all there. there. The right to the head, and it's all. August 6th, 1966. Muhammad Ali, TKO3, Brian London. A brilliant combination from the greatest beautifully ended the unequal match in the third round. A fuselage of punches by Muhammad Ali. London goes down. The referee sends Ali to a neutral corner and being in on London. A fuselage of punches by Muhammad Ali. London goes down. Straight professional win. September 5th, 1985. Mike Tyson, TKO1, Michael Johnson. The 19-year-old phenomenon sent Johnson to the canvas in the first round. And after the fight resumed, he knocked him out with a vicious right hand. Well, up oh, there he goes. He's just gonna pull his way in, those rights to the body. Left jab, right to the heart. Quickly want to point out, first fight for Michael Jack Johnson in two years. I'm glad you pointed it out because down he goes, the left hook just buried him, dug him in canvas. 23 pound weight oh, advantage and he put the it all right, there. The right to the head and it's... Let's take a look at the first knockdown. This is the knockout, I'm sorry, because I just saw Frank Cappuccino step out of the way and I'm glad he did because if he had gotten in the way of that, oh my goodness. Oh, good night. Good night, Irene. The party's over for Mike Jack John. April 22nd, 1992. Frank Bruno, TKO2, Jose Ribalta. Bruno's fierce series of punches sent the Cuban boxer into a heavy knockout in the second round. That's a good right hand, and the man's right above me, and he's almost coming out on top of me. And down goes Ribalta. That came from way back, and he had no defense against him. And from this moment, he threatened to come toppling over the top rope, right above me. And I expected six and a half feet of Cuban to bite. And almost no man in the world would survive that. It's the sort of punch that disturbed Tyson when Frank hit him. He had him going here, and Frank didn't let him off the hook. June 16th. 1996. Larry Holmes, TKO8, Anthony Willis. The 46-year-old Holmes confidently controlled the initiative throughout the fight and brightly ended the match with a perfect right hand in the eighth round. Day with this big right hand knockout of Anthony Willis. What a way to finish his distinguished career. Fight number six. And a living legend, Larry. December 12th, 1998. James Buster Douglas, TKO1, Warren Williams. Douglas's heavy right hand strike spectacularly ended the fight in the first round. March 17, 2001, Henry Akinwande, TKO2, Peter McNeely. The Nigerian giant controlled the course of the fight and in the first round wiped the canvas with his opponent twice. And in the second round, he brutally knocked out McNeely with a powerful right hand blow. <laughs> Pretty 
καλό σκυμάτο σου ακίνο άντε. Εδώ πώ έριξε νοκάουτ τον ε, Πίτερ Μαρκ. Εδώ πώ έριξε νοκάουτ τον ε, Πίτερ Μαρκ. Και πρωταθλητή ε, πλέον στην κατηγορία βαρέων στην ε, WBC στο World Boxing ε, Council σε μια από τι μεγάλε ομοσπονδίε. April 9th, 1996. Julius Francis, TKO1, Damian Caesar. The rematch ended again with the victory of the experienced middleweight Francis, who spectacularly knocked out his opponent in the first round with a strong right hand blow. You see it again, there was no way he was going to get up from this punch. I was just going to say he's very upright and he gets caught right on the chin with that right hand. Yeah, he was out cold before he hit the punch. see the head bounce. Another angle, misses with the jab, avoids one, and here we see this right hand, right to the side of the head. And Caesar in big, big trouble, the right hand that out of... May 7th, 2002, Zhang Shilei, TKO1, Scott Alexander. The heavyweight left hand strike from the Chinese giant sent the American into a heavy knockout in only the first round. Daniel, you said he needed to move a lot, but right now Alexander content just to stick around. Oh, he just made the ultimate punch! A straight left hand! Before that, I was really impressed with his performance and knockout of Devin Vargas. He showed a lot of versatility, but look, right there you see the eyes of Scott Alexander. He was out before you hit the canvas. And right there he's trying to recollect, leave me, man, when you get hit like that. Boom! Oh. No, it's on the left side of the chin, too. You can see it in his face, the way he felt backwards, the knee bent, eyes glossy. Yeah. He and John Gillette. August 1st, 2015, Joseph Parker, TKO1, Bowie Tupo. The former world champion from New Zealand, Joseph Parker, brilliantly knocked out his opponent in the first round, putting an impressive end to the unequal showdown. Sean comes with an uppercut on the inside. Tupo, he's open for the uppercut, and you can see there's a big opening there. I'm, I'm sure they've been trying to... Oh, it's all right. Here we go, here it is here, Bob, I'd say. Oh, top of the head. Right hook on top of the head. Right on top of the head, that's it. That'll tell you about the power of Joseph tonight.